Hello friends, this is a podcast to show you how to make a stem plot or a stem and leaf plot. It can be called either one. Still using the same data with the third grade reading stores that I've used in the previous podcast of one variable stats, modified box, and histograms. All right, this time we're going to do it by hand. I'm also going to touch on how do we find that five number summary by hand if the calculator doesn't do it for us. So I look at this list of numbers and I try to identify what is the lowest and highest number. And I already happen to know that from the previous work that we've done that the high number is 52 and the low number is 14. So what I have to do is pick stems and the stems in this case are going to be the tens digit of these numbers and I know they're going to go from 14 up to 54. Now what I'm going to do is make uh, split stems in other words two places for tens digits so any number that's between 10 and 14 will go in this first one and anything that's 15 to 19 will go in this second stem. Alright, so I'm going to make first one for 10 to 14, 15 to 19, this one's going to be for 20 to 24, 25 to 29, 30 to 34, 35 to 39, 40 to 44, 45 to 49, and 50 to 54 I don't need the last one, I don't think, but I'll put it there anyway. So, as I go through, this is 40, so I find the four, the first four stem, and I put a zero. So that represents the number 40. 26, not the first two, the second one, because that's 25 to 29. 26, 39, 14, right here, 42. Now, this is what I want to do. So now I have two, so you can see this stem right here is all my 40 to 42 so I'm going to put all those numbers here and so this shows me that there's a 40 and a 42 in this list all right do a couple more 18 and I'm gonna pause this and finish but you should try to finish it on your own to see if you can get what I get all right so what I've done is put all 44 of these numbers in now what I'm gonna do the last step is to actually take these numbers and put each of the rows in order. So I just slid that whole list over again and I'm gonna make another fancy smart board line right here. Alright, so now I'm gonna go through and make my stems the same. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, and five. And now each row I'm just gonna put the 14s are both in order. And I just want to make sure you understand. So this is a 15, an 18, a 19, and a 19. For the 2s, 22, and then I've got a 25, a 25, I got a 26 and a 26, I got a 27 and a 27, and I got a 28 and a 29. So I mark them off. So the only difference is that I've put each of the leaves in order. Then I got a 31, two 33s. 234s, then I've got uh, 2, 3, 4, 35s. Notice I'm marking them off as I go just so I can keep track. 38 and a 39. Then I've got 240s. I'm going to pause and finish so I don't run out of time. All right, there you have it. So now I have a stem plot or stem and leaf plot. So let's quickly go through how do I find the median and the quartiles from this list. First thing I'm going to do is recognize that there are 44 numbers in the list. So halfway between 40, 1 and 44 is going to be 22. But because it's an even number, uh, I am going to have to average the 22nd and the 23rd numbers. So I see 2, oops, don't do that. All right, 2, 6, 7, and 8 is 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. So there's the 22nd and there's the 23rd number. So the median is going to be 35 plus 35 divided by 2, which obviously is 35. And that's the median we got when we did one variable stats way back there. Quartiles, I would do the same way as explained. I would go 11 numbers either in from the beginning or from the midway point and average the two if there's an even number. If there's an odd number, it's just the middle number. So you could see what the quartiles were in the previous podcast.